Today I'm going to talk about five of the biggest challenges of being vegan. So stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So since I've been vegan for almost three years now, I'd like to tell you what some of my biggest challenges are. So the five top challenges of being vegan from my personal experience are one, learning what's vegan. You know, what can you eat? How do you keep stuff around the house so that you always have something to eat and you can throw something together? So basically, eating vegan means whatever you're eating, it doesn't have a mother. Vegetables and fruits, so you don't eat seafood because those little animals in the sea have moms. Of course, you don't eat meat of any kind. You also don't eat animal products, meaning like dairy. If it comes from a cow, you don't eat it. You know. So I've been drinking nut milk or soy milk for years, so that part was easy because I never really liked regular milk anyway. So you're not eating eggs. Eggs come from chickens, they have mamas. You don't eat honey, because honey comes from bees. You, eat, you read a lot of labels. You have to learn what substitutes for things. Like, if you want to make a recipe and it calls for eggs or butter, it's easy to find non-dairy butter, you know, at the grocery store. That's easy. There's egg substitutes. If you want to use an egg, you can use nut milk for most milk and recipes. So you learn those sort of things. That's the first big challenge, is just learning what you can eat and how to shop at the grocery store. After you do it for a while, it's not that hard to be vegan. Number two challenge is your friends are afraid to go out to eat with you because they think, oh my God, she's vegan. What are we gonna get to eat? What's she gonna eat? We can't take her, we can't invite her. She won't have anything to eat. Guess what? First of all, I can usually find something to eat. And if I don't, don't worry about it, okay? I got it. I'm not gonna starve, believe me. I got plenty of uh, body mass to, you know, hold me over for a while. Don't be afraid to ask your vegan friends to go out to eat, okay? If you wanna try vegan food, that's great, because then everybody gets to eat vegan food. There are so many options out there nowadays. Hopefully you don't lose friends because you're vegan. And you can educate them a little bit, and then you never know. They might like the vegan food too. I know my friends are amazed at how good vegan food is. There's a lot of vegan restaurants that serve very good taste. I mean, they can make vegetables taste like almost anything. Mushrooms, can, cauliflower, can, nuts. They can make it taste like almost anything. It's amazing what they can do. Have you ever tried the Impossible Burger? Oh my goodness. It is so good. You wouldn't even know that you're not eating a regular beef burger. And there's so many more places to get it now. And don't worry, if we're out to eat, I'm not gonna say anything about you eating something that's not vegan because I'm the one that's vegan, not you. So if you wanna eat your salmon, your seafood, your beef, your steak, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. So number three vegan challenge is finding food on the go. Now that's one thing. One thing going to a sit down restaurant, usually you can find something on the menu, but if you just wanna grab and go, some of my go-to places are Starbucks. I can always get oatmeal at Starbucks. They have bagels that are vegan. Another go-to place is Taco Bell. They have a power veggie burrito that if you just don't get the cheese or the ranch sauce on it, it's vegan. Go to the grocery store and get vegetable sushi. I get avocado sushi, it's so good, especially with brown rice. I'm a brown rice kind of lady. Oh. Another good thing is to sort of plan ahead and pack some snacks. Yeah, if you're going on an airplane ride, a lot of airports, sometimes you can find vegan stuff. It's getting a lot better, but a lot of the plain food is not vegan. But you'd be amazed at how many places. I mean, I can get a vegan burger at Carl's Jr., the Impossible Burger at White Castle. You can get it at Burger King if you're in St. Louis right now. Hopefully in the near future, you'll be able to get an Impossible Burger at any Burger King. So tell them you want vegan burgers. Number four, another big challenge I have be a vegan is people that know I'm vegan, for some reason, they still try to get me to eat non-vegan food. They know, right? They know it's not vegan. We've discussed it maybe, or they just know that it's got milk or eggs in it, but they still, oh, here, eat some of this. I'm like, is it vegan? Uh, no. Well, I'm still vegan. 
sometimes that can be quite a bit of a challenge because they they seem to feel bad like you you know it's like your grandmother trying to get you to always eat something right but you know really I'm okay like I said before I've got plenty of body mass I'm not gonna starve number five sometimes you get in those conversations some people when they find out you're vegan they're like oh you're killing the plants what about the plants well I mean seriously do you think eating plants is comparable to slaughtering animals especially the way that the industry slaughters animals these days no it's not and I don't even want to have that conversation maybe plants scream maybe they don't but the animals that you're slaughtering probably already ate some plants anyway so either way you're gonna be killing plants really right don't make that argument that I'm killing plants and that one was more of a pet peeve than a challenge so one of the biggest things that surprised me was just because I think I'm eating healthy I thought when I went to the doctor and had my lab results that I was just gonna be golden well my cholesterol actually went up I'm not even eating any animal products but my cholesterol went up doctor said I was eating too many carbs I think I was just eating too much I really like to eat sometimes so portion control really helps out if you're vegan and you can eat a whole food diet like vegetables and fruits so what are some of your vegan challenges do your friends support your vegan lifestyle so thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button Just sitting here watching the planes go by.